red. We have made it. It's the stop partnership. My favorite stop. Why? Well, it's very clear. I'm a collaboration fan. Collaboration and co-creation is in my veins and we are talking about partnerships. So we have come back to the same topic again. And yes, it's again about people, right? We cannot forget that even if we are partnering with organizations, we are partnering with people in those organizations. This becomes especially apparent when people in those organizations change and then our partnerships change as well, right? So that's how we recognize it's actually about people. At the same time, it is also about the legal side of things. It's quite a confusing topic because when we use the word partnership, it could also mean that it is a partnership agreement, that it is a contract or an affiliate agreement, some kind of a legal way or format to actually be bound together to agree on a certain activity that is to the mutual benefit of both sides, hopefully, to say so, because there is, of course, also a trap hiding in partnership agreements. And if we are not careful enough and vigilant enough, we can be caught in legal responsibilities that we don't want to be caught in. So here are the questions you can't escape. The first one is about the core of your service. So what is the core of your product or service with the side question and what can be outsourced or handled by a partner? So this brings us back to the reflection about the idea itself, that solution that we are creating. What is it actually that is the core value, the core knowledge, the core competency that we have in this respect? The second question is about what partners actually align with our values and goals? And the third question, very closely to the second question, what partners complete you? So why are these two questions so close to each other? Well, it, they're really designed to make you think about, well, who is actually on the same journey as you are? So you're so tightly connected that it can actually not happen without each other. So maybe you have a technology partner and if that company does not exist anymore, you will be in big trouble. And it's really important to know that. So these are very deep and very close partnerships that are crucial to your survival. The other one is a partnership that allows you to, to leverage your speed on the market, to reach your customers faster or easier. So this is a question of a shared value creation, a shared mission that you may be on. And it's very, very important for us to understand the type of partnership we're actually wanting to get into. So here are the points that we're gonna be talking about in the STOP partnership. We have to get into values again to make it very clear and to find out what is actually that connection point that we have to organizations that we want to partner with. And all of this, the way we are approaching this topic is called the partnership strategy. So who do we want to partner with? What are we looking for actually in our partners? And how should that relationship look like? What's good for, for us and for our customers? We are looking for a mutually beneficial relationship that we can build together. Happy partnering.